Okay, here's my uh, Mendocino motor, and I have it out here in the eh, partial sun. It's going pretty good. Back here you can see that I use three magnets instead of two, so I have this one over the top that really kind of holds things down there pretty nice. This thing is pretty well centered and stays pretty good. front naturally here is a uh, mirror and the point on the shaft uh, goes up against the mirror. I have two adjustable magnets over here on this side that I can move in and out. It'll go about 3,000 RPMs out here in the sun. And of course an airplane's going to fly over to ruin the audio. So let's stop this thing for a minute. <clears throat> yeah, I'll take it off of here. So here you can see the uh, two coils. Each one of these cells are six volts. You can see all the multiple little pieces of uh, solar cells there. Oops. Around the outside here, there's little holes drilled, and I have little copper pieces of wire in there to, to set the balance. The way this works is each pair of cells are wired in reverse of each other to the coil, so that as this thing turns, the coil changes uh, polarity as it goes. Over here, you can see the uh, magnet in the base. I put that in from the bottom. That's a half by quarter by two inch neo. And you can see the magnets in the back where the back of the armature floats. And uh, there's your mirror in the front. So there you have it. Of course, now that I want to show it off, there's going to be no sun at all. So it's a little, uh, it's a little late in the evening too. So maybe I'll uh, get some video some other time with a, a little more light on it. Okay, so there you go. I knew the sun would never come out again. Uh, at any rate, it shows you that the uh, motor doesn't need too much sun. It's pretty, pretty gloomy out there, and it's still going pretty good. <laughs>